For your 50th birthday, your hometown names a new stadium after you. Oh, meine Bizeps pumpen schon auf. His journey from unknown Austrian to international megastar now seems like a walk in the park compared to what happened to him this year. Not only did he turn 50, but in April, Arnold announced to the world that he wasn't indestructible. He needed heart surgery, an aortic valve replacement, to be exact. The operation was a success, and you might say he was rewarded with the birth of his fourth child. Quite a relief, considering his wife, TV journalist Maria Shriver, had to stay in bed for six weeks during her pregnancy. They now have two sons and two daughters. I promise that I will say no. And Arnold's concern for children goes beyond his own. To gangs, drugs, and violence. He devotes time and money to an urban athletic program called the Inner City Games. Here, of course, are all the villains from the Terminator 1. And here, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. When we met, Arnold seemed in good health and good humor. Yes, and here we have, of course, a sculpture that shows my heart operation. <laughs> Here you see, here it was the bow. It's been quite a year. Arnold has looked both life and death in the face. It was a year unlike uh, any other year I've ever had because there was a, a, you know, great success with the movies and great success with the business. But then bang, all of a sudden there was this down where I was lying in a hospital with a heart operation. You could have died. Were you scared? I was very scared. Uh, you're right, I could have died. There is a percentage of people that die from it. But not only that, it, it wasn't uh, uh, a um, successful operation. So I've all of a sudden in the middle of the night, I started getting less and less air and I had problems breathing and all that. And um, you know, at three in the morning, he sat down, uh, Dr. Starnes at my bed, and he said, um, it went wrong, the whole thing we have to operate on you again. So now I had to go for a second surgery. Arnold, when you knew how serious the operation was, what did you tell Maria? Well, I, didn't, uh, I did not originally want to tell my wife about the operation because I didn't want to set her up for like, because I know Maria too well. She will go, go through a drama beyond belief with this whole thing. And so I just didn't want that to happen. So what I did actually was I told her then a week before. Again, I tried to play it very casual, and, uh, but the, she said, I want to be part of this. I said, look, I'm fine. Please go home, take care of the kids. And um, she went home, and, um, and then at 4 o'clock in the morning, the doctor called her and says, look, this is very serious. Arnold has to go through another operation and all this. And so it was really, I think, one of those uh, moments uh, unlike anything else in my life. How are you feeling now? I feel great now. I feel much more energetic today than I did before the operation. And Maria yeah. is fine? Maria is now great. There was no problem with the childbirth. Uh, the, the baby is healthy and nine and a half pounds. Two boys and two girls. Do you want to have more children? No. Um, I think that this is a wrap. Did what happened to you change you? A lot of people have asked me uh, the question, if it changed me after the operation, if I you know, have had some uh, spiritual experience or anything like that, uh, I have had none of that, no. And nothing has changed. Uh, I still um, am looking forward to the next 50 years with the same way as before the operation. I'm noticing the first beginning of gray hairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I look at it, I think you, many people would have dyed their hair. You don't. Well, don't count on it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.